In previous videos, we have seen on how to create, instantiate, and work with various kinds of JavaScript objects, and that too using construction functions, sorry, constructor functions. In this video, we are going to look into methods in objects. So what exactly are methods in objects? First of all, a method is nothing but a function. So if you are familiar with functions, you already know what exactly are methods. So object can have methods. So which means whenever you write a function inside an object, it is nothing but a method. Methods have access to any member in the object. So which means if you have an object with three or four properties, all of those particular properties are automatically accessible as part of the method you are going to write inside that particular object. So how do we define methods in an object? First of all, you can have any kind of external function to be made available as part of an object and convert that into a method by just assigning that to a member. So for example, here you are having a particular function called get annual salary. So that particular get annual salary is an external function. However, you are saying that the definition of that particular annual salary, get annual salary is going to be assigned to a member of the pro, member of the object called annual salary. So this object OEMP1 has got three two properties or three members. So two of those particular properties are just value based properties. However, the third member is nothing but a kind of a function definition is being assigned so which means this is automatically converted to a method or called as method in general so you will be accessing any of those particular methods by just the same way on how you are going to access the other members or properties so in this case you can see oemp1.enam nothing but you are accessing enam there similarly you can access salary as well. And if you'd like to execute any of those members, you have to say emp1 dot, which is nothing but object dot annual salary. And you can see I'm trying to execute that particular function by providing the parenthesis. But here I did not provide any of the parenthesis. That is important. If you don't provide parenthesis, you are just assigning the definition to the other variable. So in this case, I'm not assigning it, but instead asking it to execute on the spot. So in this case, it is going to execute this guy. In fact, this is the function which is going to be executed. However, internally, I'm using this. So whenever we say this, this automatically tries to find the current object. So in this case, if get annual salary is going to be executed as part of this object, this word the word this actually resembles OEMP yes this particular function is going to be executed within the context of this particular object the word this is actually resembling the same context you are using which is nothing but OEMP so OEMP dot sal is what behind the scenes it is going to execute so as part of that particular execution it is going to fetch the value available inside that particular property which is nothing but 5400 into 12 is going to be returned back and finally will be displayed here so in that way you can have external functions to be assigned as methods to existing objects you can also have functions to be made available in, within the same object or you can also use anonymous functions to directly have them inside the object. So you can have directly function annual salary or you can have annual salary equal to function. So either of those two will behave in the same fashion. So instead of using external functions, you better have those particular methods to be directly made as part of the respective object so that it is quite readable. We need not jump here and there to just try to understand where that particular function is and how it is going to be executed. Rather, if everything is made available as part of the same object, we can easily figure it out, we can easily understand where that particular function is going to be executed and how it is going to access the respective members. 
And if you are using constructor functions, which I already covered as part of my previous class, so if you are using constructor functions, still you can have any of those methods to be defined in this way. So just like the other members you define, you also define those particular methods just like the other members, except that all the members inside the constructor function should always be preceded with the word this. So let us have a demonstration of the same using methods and methods in constructor functions. So let me start with a new HTML file here. And I would like to call this one as something like 04. So the first one. So let me start with an external function first. So I would like to say get annual salary. So in this case, I would like to say that it is going to access a member called salary from the same context where it is going to be used, multiply by 12 and finally return the value of 12, sorry, return the value which is nothing but salary into 12. And imagine I am going to have an object called OEMP which is essentially going to have a couple of members or some properties like ename which is going to be nothing but drag and I might have salary here which is 5400 and on top of that I would like to have the method to be declared as something like this get annual salary and care should be taken so the care should be taken in such a way that whenever you are having the respective method being assigned to a particular member here, you should ensure that you are not providing parentheses. So if you do provide parentheses, you are executing the function on the spot. We do not want that. We want the definition of the function to be retrieved and get it assigned to another variable. So in order to do that, you should not have the parentheses here. So once I have this particular object, now you can have each of those particular members to be directly accessible by just using object dot member notation. So now I can say let OEMP1 dot ename concatenated with some message and I can say OEMP1 dot annual salary. And in this case I would like to have that particular function to be executed. So that is the reason I can say parenthesis here and on top of that, I would like to have one more concatenation, something like this. So let us see if this is working. And there we go, we have that particular value automatically returned back. So let me comment all of this for now. And let me go with another sample where I would like to have a new object called OEMP2 to be declared and that particular object is going to have the same kind of members whatever I defined earlier and now I would like to have a couple more anonymous functions to be defined as methods so in this case I would like to say annual salary is going to be an anonymous function and a comma whenever you would like to have another anonymous method to be added. So in this case I would like to say something like this. So you can have multiple methods in such a fashion but ensure that the last one will not have it. Last member will not have a comma but rest of the other members are going to have commas. So in this case I would like to just say return this dot salary star 12. So in this case I would like to say return this dot salary star 3. So once everything is defined now I can get it executed using the same syntax what I used earlier by just saying OEMP dot ename plus earns and I can say OEMP dot annual salary per annum so this needs to be concatenated so I just say per annum 
and events so one more for oh, emp2 dot quarter salary which needs to be executed immediately per quarter so let me execute and test this one out so there we go we have the same particular value which is returned with respect to per annum and per quarter right here so in that way we can have the methods to be directly made available as part of objects if you have objects but let us consider you would like to have the methods to be declared inside constructor functions so let me create a new file altogether so in this case I would like to call this on a zero file so I start with the script and now I would like to define a constructor function which is nothing but a class so I would like to have the default parameters as employee name and salary so as this is constructor functions all the members should be preceded with this VE name and uh, similarly I would like to have one more member salary V salary so this syntax is pretty much to what I covered in my previous video the constructor functions so if you are not familiar with that make sure that you completed the previous video and then only you are going to understand what exactly is constructor function and how to instantiate objects from the constructor functions so now that we have both of this member both of these members we need to have a couple more uh, methods so let me copy whatever I have in here so I would just like to copy whatever I have in here into here except that this needs to be called something like uh, so this could be called something like get annual salary so which makes it easier to understand what exactly is that and I don't need this so I can just say this one sorry I had to write equal to function so this is going to be an anonymous function as such and similarly I would like to have this dot get quarter salary equal to function so this is just another way of achieving the same thing so now EMP is a class which is going to have four members so whenever I create an instance of this class all of these four members will be automatically made available for the new instance so the easiest way to accomplish is just create an instance and name it as OEMP in order to create an instance from the constructor function you are going to use new operator with the respective constructor function name so in here I can provide initial values for those two parameters something like this so once I have those two now I can just display my alert something like this annual salary so I just would like to have direct execution OMP dot get annual salary and similarly I can have one more alert which could be displaying something like quarter salary so I can say get quarter salary so in that way I can have both of those two methods to be executed straight from the object and that particular object even though is getting instantiated using a constructor function so let us see if this is working fine and now I have annual salary and the quarter of the salary as well Thank you.